Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, September 27, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to support us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at, um, at Bitcoin. And as you can see, it has been um, three or four very volatile weeks and more or less uh, very bearish news for this market. So the hype that we saw in the beginning of the year or basically the end of last year and the beginning of this year, that has completely evaporated. So what happened here is, of course, we had a lot of bad news for uh, the cryptocurrency market, but also that we ran into major uh, Fibonacci retracement here at 61.8. So we got to the 61.8 and then we have started to decrease yet again. So question is whether or not the next Fibonacci retracement holds, and that basically means that at the moment we're at the 50 Fibonacci retracement. If we drop towards the 61.8 and bounce from there, then we may go higher. Otherwise, if we drop below here, then it's a very good chance that we will make a um, 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 lower low in this market. So this could be first high, second high, and then we'll have another one way over here. And you'll just see this market slowly um, decline over time. So it's very similar to what we saw back in 2017, 2018, when this market, first of all, lost half of its value. You have to go over here. It lost half of its value in one week. Um, then it fell all the way down to the 50 moving average, recovered half of its value, very similar to what we saw right now, and then just plummeted to downside over the long run. So that is probably what we're going to see now. As the hype is out of this market and, um, and it's constant bad news, so I would not be surprised if we fell below. But as long as the 50 moving average here in the weekly chart is holding, and then we may see this market gradually grind to the upside. But still, the Fibonacci retracements have been holding. So this is just a technical bounce that we have been seeing until further. And until we basically break above the 52 and head towards the very highs and break that, then yes, then I would say that we will, we will go higher. Otherwise, I would not say that at this current stage. And we did have a, a crossing here of the 50 of the MACD in the weekly chart. And since then we have basically been rallying and now it looks like we're gonna have another crossing. And this was the second crossing that we had when we had this massive fall from the highs. So this is not a good sign for the cryptocurrency market. We may uh, drop below the 50 and that basically means that we'll go and test in the long run the 200 moving average, but that is to be seen. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is holding on here at the 200 moving average, very similar. It, it, it did rally significantly further than Bitcoin did. So this got way above the 61.8 and then just crashed. So whether or not this was just overbought conditions, people were just piling in and expecting this to go back to the very highs and then people just started shorting this. Uh, that is to be seen, but it did break the 61.8, and usually we go towards the very high, the top and when that happens. But since then, it has fallen apart, and uh, at the moment, if you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this market, we are testing the 61.8, and it's right here at the 200 moving average, which should offer massive amount of support. So if this breaks, then it's most likely we'll go towards the 300, and then the 100 back towards the very low zero 700 give or take and who knows where we'll end up if that if that basically breaks so at the moment 61.8 Fibonacci is round around this area here and the 200 moving average that should offer a massive amount of support and should see this market bounce from there but if this breaks then we could see this a title to the downside if we look at the MACD, it is bearish, and stochastic is also bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So, hope you found this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, but to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.